Hello, anybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. I'm Mr. Devious, or just D, but in the last episode, we infiltrated Nimbus Palace in the hopes of rescuing Mallow's parents, and in today's episode, we're gonna keep sneaking around. Uh oh. I'm absolutely exhausted! I hate being a guard. Valentina only gives us the most boring jobs to do. But I guess this beats Dodo's job. Dodo has to polish Valentina's statues every single day! Ha! Huh, here's how I'd do it! Hey, that's not nice. Hey, tell me something, uh, do statues move? No, statues don't move. Then, explain this. It's one of those high-tech, uh, lifelike, realistic ones. Let's get out here. So, after that very weird little moment that completely removes the paint and our disguise, so we are not able to sneak around completely gold-covered as I had hoped. Also, for some reason, the camera locks during that scene and then after, so that's strange. If you come back this way, you can come back to the main entrance of the palace. And actually, interestingly, even though the game acts like once you come in here, you can't leave, you can totally just go outside and go back in now. The guards at the front entrance are gone now, so you're free to come and go as you please. You don't have to be too careful. Anyway, now that we're in uh, the palace, um, there's going to be quite a few things for us to do. It's a little challenging for us to get around. There's a lot of new enemies we're going to be need to be fighting, and there's a whole bunch of new enemies right here. There's four of... No, wait, not four, but three. There's four enemies here, but... Anyway, Orbison, Sh uh, Sling Shy, who's just like the shy guy from uh, Rose Pass, and Joffle is completely new. Two recolors and a completely new enemy. There are seven, I think, seven new enemies, which we will be having to see as we go throughout uh, the palace, and there's going to be quite a few to deal with. Uh, these Orbisons, I think they're called Orbisons, is what they were called. Um, they specifically... Yeah, Orbisons. They are going to be the clerics of the opposite team. They'll be healing the other team. They have very high physical defense, but they're pretty easy to deal with. Um, I'm also keeping my team as Bowser and Mallow because they only got one fight in the last episode, and that was an optional fight. Slingshy is not really any different than the Shy Guys from Rose Pass except for higher attack. And then Joffle is a new enemy. It usually starts out asleep, but any movement on it, like a heal spell or an attack of any kind, will wake it up, and it will do a lot of damage if it actually hits you. It is capable of doing quite a bit of damage. Let's see if it'll do a special move here at all. No, but it does do a lot of damage, comparatively at least, compared to a lot of the other enemies we'll be dealing with here. It's also just kind of freaky looking and has a lot of HP too. It's important to note that most of the enemies you'll be encountering in Nimbus Palace will in fact be gone after you finish this dungeon. Just because of, well, you'll see, probably. There's another enemy right here we have to fight. Um, two actually. There's a Muckle, which is just like the jellyfish we fought before, and the Pinwheel, an exceptionally rare enemy that, uh, oh, wow, it has pretty high attack, too. We're gonna, uh, heal up, not Thunderbolt, we're gonna, no, we're not gonna heal up. It's been a little while since I played, I'm sorry. Also, it's my birthday as of this recording, so, um, happy birthday to me. Now that I've, uh, I've gotten my little self-birthday wishes out of the way, I'm just gonna get right back to hitting these things. So far, we've seen already five of the new enemies, but this place is absolutely swarming with them. New enemies that we'll have to fight in, which we'll be getting in our way. It's a um, Nimbus Land Palace as it is. If you have a map of the place, it's actually not that big at all, but the biggest thing it has going for it is it's more maze-like than any of the dungeons we've seen up to this point. It's very easy to get lost with a lot of areas that kind of look the same. Also, there are fake enemies who hide out on the statues, and I kind of want to explore a little bit of everything before I actually go in the direct path path because I like to show everything off. Joffle is sleeping. Also, these shaman who have been nothing but our friends up to this point. Hold on, let me check the audio real quick. Alrighty, was just making sure that the audio was still working. Um, shamans, even though they've been helping us up to this point, are now opposing us. Let's show off Bowser's new magic move, which I don't think I've shown yet. Spike comes out of the ground, you press Y as it goes on to impact, and it looks cool, but frankly, once you've reached this point in the game, Bowser's magic has by far leveled off, pretty much. Shamans are also really weak to physical attacks and pretty resistant to magic attacks, as is probably a little obvious, but they do have quite a few magic attacks they can use on you, so you need to watch out for that, and they are pretty potent magic users. 
Joffle does a bit of damage, but it is a no big deal. Let's see what other spells we might be able to get out of a Shaman before we absolutely murder him. There are also four hidden treasure chests we'll be looking for as we explore more and more of this uh, palace. But interestingly, one of these hidden chests won't appear or won't be available until after we finish it. We got a lightning orb, which just looks really weird. 35 damage, not bad though. And even without getting the action command right on that one, we still killed him. We're still doing just fine, and we get a maple syrup. Lots of experience to get in this area. We're gonna go in this door. Um, there's a bunch of dudes, and at the end of the hallway, there is uh, a dead end, more or less, and a Joffle who's poking his fork out. And we get into another fight. And it's very rare, but the Shaman do have a physical attack. They can try to whack you with their wand, but it won't really do anything even. It won't really do much even if they do hit you, so, I mean, don't even worry about it. Bowser got an HP max, that's very nice, even though I think he was at full HP. And Mario's Mega Glove is just hilarious. The weapons you get before this dungeon and for this dungeon are, are just funny all around. Oh god. Again, as said, most of this dungeon's length is pretty much entirely owed to the maze-like quality and the sheer number of enemies that are running around. These statues turn into enemies, these shaman are enemies. That's the only reason that this dungeon feels big. It's really not, though, if you just kind of avoid everything, and I think we're going to be seeing that as I cut out fights. Alrighty, now that we've done that, we are actually going to be going back this way, but we will be re Oh boy. And it's because of stuff like that that I think this dungeon is more of a slog than anything else. It's just kind of tedious to get through, even though I like the music, I do really like the music. I just went around in a full circle if I keep going that way. But yes, this dungeon is just, it's just kind of a slog to get around. You get lost if you're not paying attention to your surroundings, especially with the constant enemies going on. And here we have to fight against a fan that's pushing us back. You might be wondering why I'm still using the Lamb's Lure. You've been seeing hints of it as I've been using it in my inventory, and it's not just to make the battles go faster. If you use it a certain amount of time, something will happen, so I will wait until the time is necessary, or the time is right, to show that off. Although I certainly feel the need to clarify that you definitely... You definitely cannot use the Lamb's Lore on enemies that are particularly big, like the Heavy Troopas or the Muckles, the Jellyfish for instance. They're just simply too big to be turned into sheep. If they're bigger than the Sheep Sprite, if like they're significantly bigger than the Sheep Sprite, then they probably can't be turned into a sheep. That's your good rule of thumb. I'm also wary of the fact that I'm actually killing these enemies really easily, so I don't want to get too overleveled by killing a lot of these enemies. And as you remember, the Lamb's Lore, using the Lamb's Lore, means you don't get experience from the enemies you kill them with, so I'm trying to, you know, kind of balance how much XP I'm getting out of these fights. Anyway, this is... There is just never a moment's peace in this dungeon, and if you take your thumb off the stick, you're probably gonna get hit and get into a fight. Like, look at us! Look at all these fights we have to take care of. There's also the matter of the... I swear to god, there are so many fights. Also, there's a hidden chest there, and a hidden chest here, right off in the ether, for just because it's there. There's also the matter of the music in this place, which I do enjoy, but it does have the consequence of kind of grating a little because of the constant laughter of what I can only assume is Valentina. But anyway, since we're in here... I used to be a guard here, a guard here, until Valentina snatched away all my keys and gave me the boot. Guess I won't be needing this master key anymore. Would you like it? Yeah, sure, we can actually make good use of that, of that one. All right, here you go. Just don't tell me what you're gonna do with it, okay? You just wash your hands of this whole thing, don't you? First castle key. Did you know that there are hot springs around here? Uh, yeah, because of uh, the royalty and all that. Oh, you're no fun. I wanted to be the first to tell you that. Hey, did you know? Did you know? Valentina's got a huge egg in the middle of the room. In the middle room. It spits out eggs from time to time, and sometimes when you shield yourself, the eggs will ricochet off of you. A dip in the hot springs would puck up the king in the jiffy? Which I think she's referring to his illness or something, but the hot springs, yeah, they're, they're good. Go on, take this. And we got ourselves a flower jar from this very generous man. Uh, do we have any items we can throw away for without much hassle? I need to buy more pick-me-ups. Nah, I got rid of a maple syrup. We don't actually need him that badly. Valentino told me to wait in this room. I hope she'll give me a job soon. So we see that the people of Nimbus Land are being locked up 
by Valentina if they're not being kept out of the palace entirely. So we're actually going to use that flower jar right now to top off our flowers uh, and also uh, increase it to 84. The max you can have for flowers is in fact 99, but let's save. And since we have done that... Since we have done that, we now have the key now, and we are able to keep moving onward to this metal door, which a Tubbo Troopa, or not a Tubbo Troopa, but a Heavy Troopa blocks, so let's battle him. There is a lot of Tubbo Troopas and Heavy Troopas in this fight. Ultra Jump is your best bet in that fight. Any fight with multiple Heavy Troopas, you're best off using uh, Mario's Ultra Jump for an incredible amount of damage. Bowser levels up, let's put that into his a physical attack because that's mostly what we're going to be using from now on. Uh, Peach, get her into special attack because why not? Special stats. And we can use that key now. There we go, we unlock the door. And hey, it's the big ol' egg! And you! La di da! Here you go, big eggy. I'll give you plenty of nutrients so you'll grow up to be big and strong. I don't think that's how eggs work. Oh, oh, oh. Mario's already here. He's a fast one, he is. Oh, oh, oh. It won't open. It's locked. Ho, 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 ho. That's not Valentina laughing. It's the egg. And even though we have a master key, we can't actually lock this door, so that's not really a good master key at all. You cannot reach this guy, so let's investigate the egg. I'm so lonely. Will you play with me? Ah, uh, sure. Thanks. This is a little creepy. It's a big old egg named Shelly. If you do nothing, the egg will not be able to retaliate. retaliate. It won't do anything in response. But as you hit it, it will grow cracks along its body. So, of course, you have to keep hitting it in order for anything to happen. After about how many turns? Four hits? Not four. I guess, is it going to be five? Probably going to be five. The egg shatters. Oh, it's you. Hello. I'm Birdo. And that's her introduction. Don't know what Birdo was doing in this place, or why she was in a big ol' egg, or why Valentina has her, but here we are in the fight against her. Birdo! Birdo shoots eggs! Birdo does a lot of damage, as you just saw. She does a ton of damage. She is very high defense, physically and magically, so it takes a long time to bring her down. She's not a super hard boss fight, but she is one of the harder bosses in the game, if you want to take her down. Tee hee! Ouch, you're hurting me. Now it's my turn. Get it while it's hot. Ooh. That really hurt. Now at this point in the fight, something you can do is you can start guarding. We'll use defense with all of our characters, even Mallow. And that will actually knock back the egg. And if you attack the... Well, actually, I want to show off first of all. First things first, I'm going to use... I'm going to use a max mushroom. I'm gonna use a max mushroom or a mid mushroom. I'm gonna use a mid mushroom on Mallow. Why did it take me so long to make that decision? Just so he doesn't get immediately murdered. And I'm gonna use a mid mushroom on Bowser, just so he doesn't get immediately murdered either. I just wanna get over to Mallow so I can just go and use Psychopath on Egbert. What are your thoughts, little egg? You only got 10 HP? What a glorious day! This egg is happy to be alive. And that egg missed. Now, as I was saying, you want to attack this egg once you've deflected it back, and then it will explode and do a good amount of damage, a good chunk of damage to Birdo in response. I think you can also deflect the egg back by getting the timing right, but it's incredibly hard to get the, the action command right on this battle. That's why uh, your best bet in this one is usually to defend with everybody but Bowser. That way you can soak up the hits a lot easier than if and then if you were just all out attacking, especially with her defense so high. The egg birds are just a nice way to um, just knock the damage back right into her. Bowser, of course, does significant damage as it is, so we're just gonna hit that egg bird and blow it up right in her face for a good 80 damage. Not bad. Gonna heal up Mallow, because we don't want him to die. Otherwise, not really a whole lot to say on this fight, because we've seen basically the brunt of it. Can never get the timing down on that attack. Um, let's defend with Bowser. I, I didn't want to actually defend with Bowser now that I think about it. 
but oh well. 54, we could do better. HP rain on Bowser to make sure that he doesn't die, because we don't want Bowser to die. Also, if you've been noticing throughout this episode, the Troopa pin has been allowing Bowser to just stay absolutely ahead of the game. He's usually the one attacking first in every battle because the Troopa pin raises your speed by 20, which I think is how much the Feather raises your speed by, either that or 30. And also with the offense up, it keeps Bowser a lot more relevant than he usually is starting around this point in the game. But anyway, I digress. Mario gets shot with eggs. The time, the hardest part of this fight is just the timing on Birdo's very hard hitting attacks, but it doesn't take long to beat her. Oh, I'm never gonna let you go. You're just too cute. And Birdo goes down. And with that, we have uh, gotten 20 experience and 30 uh, coins and a key. And Castle T to Castle T? Castle Key 2. With that, we have actually cleared out the majority of uh, Nimbus Land Castle. And I think that'll be a good stopping point for today. Now that we've done most of the castle, in the next one, we will finish it up. So if you want to see us go on the path to rescue Mal's parents, then I just hope to see somebody in the next one. Bye bye!